Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Tiny Spaces Big Food. Today, I'm going to be potting up this cute little plant that I got in the mill. And believe it or not, it actually is a fig tree. Since I am container gardening, it was really important for me to be able to find a fig tree that did well in containers. And I was able to find this variety called Big Nominal Fig Tree. I really like the fact that at maturity, this tree grows to about two and a half feet tall and about two and a half feet wide. And I'm just honestly so excited. So come along with me as we get this little tree into a container. So I went ahead and I measured this fig tree. It's measuring about six inches tall and it came in a 2.5 by two inch. And so I tried to find this one of the smallest containers I already had, which happens to be this one right here next to it. And I would say it's probably a one or two gallon or somewhere in between. And I went ahead and I already put some drainage holes in there. And so what I'm going to be using to pot this is some rocks, some perlite, as well as some potting mix, of course, that I will be using. And the rocks are there to help with making sure that the nutrients that I put into the soil does not just escape through the bottom so easily, as well as trying to make sure that that soil does also not go through the drainage holes as I water it over time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some soil. And then of course, next would be the perlite and making sure I'm mixing everything together. I also did forget to mention that I will be using some peat moss as well, and this is the kind I'll be using. So here I am layering. I have the dirt at the bottom, and then I'm adding the peat moss on top of that. You can see the difference in color. And then after that, I will be adding the um, perlite on top, and then mixing it all together. Now that that's all mixed up, I'm going to go ahead and check the height to see if I need to take any dirt out or if it's good for planting. And it looks like I do like the height of where it's at. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, level up the bottom, make sure it's all good and straight. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I also wanted to add, excuse the mess, I did pop multiple plants up this day and so that's why you see like water all over the place. Um, but you know, garden's just not always pretty and that's just how it is. So after taking this out, I'm just looking at the roots and I realized there's not very many here. So that means that I need to be extremely careful and make sure that everything is staying intact as I transfer it. Despite being extremely careful, um, the soil did start to fall apart because there's just not very much root ball. So I decided to go ahead and plant this off camera. Um, but now that we're back, you can see it did work out and I was able to get it in the soil and everything's okay. So one of the last things I'm going to be doing is to be putting mulch on top and mulch is really beneficial for conserving water as well as to improve the soil quality and to prevent weeds. Honestly, the list goes on and on. 
one thing I do want to know that once the mulch is on, you do want to make sure that you pull back the mulch away from the base of the plant so it's not touching it. And the last step is going to be watering it in. Now, after planting, initially you want to make sure you water it to the point where you do see water coming out of the drainage holes. That's so important. So I did realize that there was two plants in there, so I dug it up and I separated the two, making sure both plants did contain some root. And I planted them in separate containers. I had to be extremely careful, so I did not film the process, but I planted it like I did prior, both of them again. And um, this was shot this video a while ago so I do know as of right now both plants are doing well and I'm just really excited because I got two plants for one. And that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.